Hey, so I kind of felt like just making this video to help anybody out who might need it. Um, if you're like me and you have a Pontiac Solstice, that's mine. I have a 2007. It's a 2.4 liter non-turbo. Um, I have an automatic transmission in this car. You can see it all in there. Um, if you're having any like sluggishness with it or kind of just you're looking to do a tune-up with it, um, I'd recommend actually cleaning your mass airflow sensor with it. Um, so I'm going to try to flip camera around if I can do that. I don't know. Oh well. So your mass airflow sensor, if you look at your engine, this is kind of flipped around. It's located right here on this little connector by your air filter box. And all you're really going to do for it is you unclip this thing, you the little clip right here, and take off the two screws. There's one right here and one down here. And you pull it out. It's a silver disc. It kind of looks like, like a rectangle. Um, you're going to buy some CRC mass airflow sensor cleaner right here this stuff actually works really well it dries very quickly maybe like 15 seconds I was really hesitant because I was thinking I was gonna break it um, but really you pretty much can't break it with that stuff it just evaporates very quickly I gave mine about 30 minutes to dry just to be safe and then you slide it back in there and just clip the little harness back on it and you're pretty good to go with it um, but I've been having the issue where my car was kind of jolting when I was slowing down um, it was I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of bucking. So it's like as it slows down and shifts gears, you think the transmission's going bad or the differential has an issue, but that's not really the case with it. So I've actually replaced these two things as well. The intake and exhaust actuators for this car, they're extremely easy to replace. You just take these gray clips up, pop them up with a screwdriver, and then you yank these out. They're a little heavy to get out at first. Um, but it even has it marked right here, intake and exhaust. Um, to just replace those, they're about $40 on the internet. If you go to Advance, they're probably going to charge you about 60 70 bucks. 70 um, I would do that, and then I also, just to be safe, replaced my um, crankshaft um, position sensor. And that's back here by the back of the engine. You can see it's by the oil cap. It's this little part right here. You just unclip it, take this bolt out, um, and it'll really come out. It's not really going to pour oil all over you or anything like that. But just throwing these recommendations out there in case anybody's got a solstice that was doing similar issues. Um, just figured I'd kind of help out. So y'all have a good day.